Welcome back. Well, not exactly the best day for a round of 18 out on the golf course, but if you're like me, you need a lot more than just a sunny day to fix your game. But that's why I leave the tips up to the pros in today's newest edition of Driving Delmarva. Welcome to Glen Riddle, a course on a venue just too good for one 18 hole course. So they made it into two, Man of War Inn, War Admiral, on a venue so rich with tradition that it's surrounded by the remnants of the horse racing track that it was named after. This place has been around for 120 years. You know, you got the old track, you got the old starting gate. It's pretty spectacular to witness. Both golf courses here, Man of War and War Admiral, are shot makers golf courses. You got to be able to hit good shots. I would highly recommend hitting the center of the greens. The greens here are all undulated and tons of contour. You know, Man of War has some undulation and contour in the fairways, War Admiral a little less, but hitting the ball to the center of the greens and attacking the pins from the green instead of trying to attack them from the fairway would be my best um, information to give you. Today, we'll take a look at a few of the defining traits of War Admiral a par 72 course that plays nearly 6,700 yards from the back tees. After a challenging first few holes, you come to a par 4 sixth. Uh, we got a pond all the way down the right side with bunkers bordering the pond, a slight dog leg right, short par 4, 370 yards, uh, with a really undulated green. So we want to stay to the left side. Once you find the fairway, the water can still be in play depending on the location of the pin. As long as you don't push it too far right, you should leave yourself a very makeable putt on what plays as a very true green. Once you make the turn, you come to a par 3 tenth on one of the course's signature holes. You got to really hit a good club here, make good contact and get over. We're going to stay left of the flag. Uh, like I said, plenty of green to work with. Uh, one of the most picturesque holes out here at uh, Glen Riddle War Admiral. Picking a club that you can get good flight with is key here because while it may have one of the biggest greens on the course, it also has one of the biggest water hazards. So safer to play this hole on the longer side. The greens provide some elevation and some uh, contour. So they really roll true. Uh, just pick your spot and uh, make a good effort at it and you should make a lot of putts. If the 10th isn't the signature hole, the 18th would have to be. It's nothing but marsh to your right and nearly 100 yards to the fairway. What a terrific finishing hole. And even once you make it across, you're not done yet. There's tons of room left. Right is trouble. Uh, take an extra club. Always take an extra club. The wind's blowing from left to right, but we want to make sure we get over. Once you cross, a simple up and down will get you home with a nice score. All 18 holes at where I'm or nothing duplicates itself. Just the uniqueness of every hole really is outstanding. Well, a big thanks to Scott again for showing me around the course. And I tell you what, what a beautiful venue for some golf, I must say. All right, well, it's time for another, our last commercial break. But coming up next, it's time to check in with one of our national teams, the Sixers. Took a serious shot in the gut today. What's the future hold for their former third overall pick, Joel Embiid? Hi, my name is Trey Obermeyer. I play first base for Polytech Panthers, and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider. <laughs> 